Hey guys, uh, Wandering Viking again, uh, day three, uh, we're here at the Salt Marsh Trail, uh, we're going to try to do 23 kilometers today, um, it snowed about 6 inches last night so we'll see where we're at today, um, but uh, it, uh, it's a beautiful day out so we'll see what we can get to but uh, at this point um, if you if I'll get 10 kilometers in today uh, just because the snow is so deep and with the uh, new cart uh, it's not uh, easy going so we will uh, talk at you here in a bit all right No, um, so should make myself some breakfast here. Broke my spork there in my bag, I guess. So I'm gonna find another one of those.
morning all. I'm just making some breakfast. Got my oatmeal. About to make a coffee. Um, Starbucks Vita. So, just wanted to check in and say good morning. Coffee in the water. chocolate in the water. Hot chocolate in the water. And a little bit of cream. Mm-mm, good. Alright, morning everybody, Wandering Viking time. So this is day five. Uh, I took a year zero yesterday. Um, just, it was too snowy, too rainy, too windy. I would never have made it, potentially harming myself for it. Not worth it. Um, but as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny morning this morning. It's about 7.30ish. Um, just finishing up breakfast and coffee and then we're going to head out and try to make some real miles today. It's, uh, it's going to be like minus two-ish, somewhere around there. Um, so it's going to be exciting. Uh, and we'll talk to you here in a bit. So, sorry about that. So it's a beautiful day out. Weather's nice. Probably a plus so far. Already there today. Stopped to have something to eat. And I've been slugging away at this. Sled was working, but now it's hard packed. And that's the only thing because of the guys going through with their quads made ruts. Now it's wheels work, but it's still a slugfest. Um, it's hard. It's hard. All right, so got back out onto the road. Um, that's working out a whole lot better. I think we've done three kilometers in an hour, where we did took three hours to do two kilometers. So. Yeah, we're just gonna keep trudging away here. So, Porter's Lake, that's where I'm originally from. Uh, my house is a few kilometers in that direction. Um, yeah, we just stop in. Probably gonna go over to the superstore and grab some uh, something to drink, and then then we're uh, we're out of here, back headed towards Muscadabit.
morning everybody um, so I got into Muscadabit late last night I did uh, 20 20 kilometers or something like that uh, so I got up this morning it was pretty chilly this morning it's gonna get pretty cold over the next couple of days uh, I'm gonna try to get to my pops as quick um, so that uh, I don't have to sleep out in the minus 20 25 um, my sleeping bag's good, but I don't think I'm that good. Um, so, we're here at the uh, Muscadabit Trailhead. Um, takes me all the way up. And uh, we're about 11 kilometers in the woods today, and then see how much we can get onto the road t this afternoon. Um, it's, again, pretty chilly. So uh, we're going to try to warm up and uh, stop here in a little bit and have coffee and and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Nice and peaceful right now. So, we're back there now. I'm about three and a half kilometers in from the trailhead where I left this morning. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been like three hours or more. Um, it's hard going. It's hard going. So I stopped for breakfast and coffee and stuff. And this is the view I get to see this morning. It's chilly out. It's pretty chilly. And now we're into the back country where there is no other trail. So it's making God kilometers hard to uh, hard to do so it's uh, it's a rough go so we had to stop but that's what I came up on picnic table and this it's fantastic all right so it's day seven uh, last night got in to camp here about five-ish uh, ended up doing about five and a half kilometers uh, but this is camp um, no place to peg anything in it so we get a lot of tie-offs and beautiful sunny morning you know I uh, couldn't complain now it's fucking cold but because um, I think it's like minus 18 or 20 right now the uh, sun's up, but it's not doing much yet. Uh, it's still only going to be get as high as like minus 16 or something like that. So, yeah, it's uh, it was a lot, and now it's going to be cold again today and colder tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, and then it's supposed to get really nice. So, it's, uh, it's about 10.30. Getting a little late start this morning. Uh, had some breakfast, cleaned up. Just about finished packing up the sled. And then uh, we're gonna get going. But uh, yeah, yesterday was, uh, was a rough day. Every time I think I got this figured out, the, uh, the environment changes. Um, so I was walking over, uh, quad trails and footpaths yesterday in the beginning which was hard but not as hard and then it just stopped and then it was straight me and the, the untouched snow um, so it's been a, a slugfest on uh, how far I can get in a day um, I don't mind it's cold but it's fine um, it was beautiful weather like if I could just walk it would be uh, 
be one thing, but it's not just walking. It's slugging it out, dragging a sled. So, I don't know. We'll probably be out of here today. I got six kilometers to do in seven hours to get to a road. Because, like, once I hit the road, I can make miles, right? I can get going. But uh, when it's when it's like this, it's just hard to get keep it going long enough to get anywhere um, without having to stop and drink and eat and take a good break. Um, so we're going to get after it and see if we can get out of here and onto the road and make some extra miles. Um, that'd be awesome. So we'll see you later. So just stopped, made lunch, well, making lunch. Um, and then I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, you know, how lucky am I that, yes, it's cold, yes, my feet are cold, yes, it's going to get colder this evening, and yes, trudging through that is not pleasant all the time. But who else gets to sit out here in the middle of the week? And just make yourself some lunch and walk around doing nothing. You know, I'm a lucky guy. Alright, morning all. Uh, it's morning day 8. Uh, it was cold, cold last night. It's minus 22 over the 5am-ish, roughly. Um, starting to warm up a little bit. Sun's out, but still... It's still like minus 20. Um, you can see back down in there, there's my little camp. Um, I'm just standing on the road trying to get some sun, warm my feet up. Because um, we got another kilometer and a half in the woods, and then we're back onto the road. Yay! Um, where I can actually make some make some distance. Hopefully I'll get back to my, uh, my dad's tonight and warm up and drive my gear out his house is almost literally right on the trail down there um, so we're gonna try to get warmed up and then next couple of days are supposed to be relatively decent so we'll uh, we'll hopefully be able to make some good distance what a beautiful day out yeah it's a little chilly it's only like minus 16 or 17 but once you get going it's not so bad Snow I'm just about done with, but uh, see my little uh, kilometer marker right there, and then the mountains in the background. What a nice day! All right, so I made it over the other end of the Muscadaba Trailway. Uh, now it's all highway from here to Lance and then to Stewiak. So probably gonna get to uh, Myers Grant Community Center today, and then I'll get Dad to pick me up and go home and edit out these videos and post it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't all the way, but beautiful scenery, nice days, but it was a lot of work. Hey guys, so uh, just got into my dad's there this morning. Um, took a zero again today, uh, trying to get some gear dried out. Uh, had some condensation issues the other night. Uh, it was a little chilly last night. Um, so trying to get uh, trying to get it straightened away here. Um, so this is the end of this week. Uh, I'm gonna start a whole new week this evening and then on to the next one. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos and uh, let me know what you think. And if you haven't, like, subscribe, keep up on what I'm doing here. Again, help donate to the diabetes research um, through my GoFundMe or the diabetes fundraiser page. Um, you can go to those through my Facebook. Uh, 
Jeff Labelt on Facebook, Wandering Viking on Instagram, and Wandering Viking on YouTube. Um, if you see me, you're already on YouTube. So uh, I appreciate it, and thanks so much. Bye.